So, hi, it's me, Tree. Welcome back, friends. We are here again. For those of you who don't know and maybe have wondered why I kind of disappeared off the planet more than usual, I got really, 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 really incredibly sick and was hospitalized for two weeks and then was in a physical rehabilitation center for six weeks because one of the things that happened while I was sick is I had a massive, massive arthritis flare that messed up my knee for weeks. So if you're following me on other sock meds, other than YouTube, you've been seeing things, a thing I've been calling the recovery project. It's because I am in recovery. I do physical therapy a couple times a week. Today was my third evaluation. There was the evaluation when I was first starting physical therapy, and this is the second follow-up evaluation. They do it like every every couple couple three weeks, four weeks. I think it's a longer one this time. But yes, this is one of the things that's been going on with me, and. Other things that happened were the, the, the infection I had got into my hands, so I couldn't make art for a really long time. I had to have surgery on one of my hands to, to fix the infection, which sounds weird. I was also on massive, massive amounts of intravenous, what's that stuff called? Antibiotics. There we go. Couldn't find it. Massive, massive doses. So, you know, that was good. <laughs> but I am home now. I am, I am well. I mean, my, doc, my, my current doctor is finding all sorts of, like, vitamin deficiencies. Good to know that I still can't speak. Is finding all sorts of vitamin deficiencies that I was not aware that I had and maybe didn't have before I went into the hospital. We'll never know. Though I do really enjoy my doctor, she is the tiniest little, like, I think she would totally be a nerd, except, you know, med school kind of takes up your entire universe for, you know, eight years, so she, I feel like she's kind of, like, easing back into that, like, her husband is a Twitch streamer, so she knows what Twitch stream is, Twitch streaming is, which is kind of cool. I didn't have to explain that to her, which was the first time I haven't had to explain that to somebody in four months. But yes, I am back. I'm home. There is a, hmm, there is a giant croconana butt right there. I've been working, I've been editing and making art. I mean, mo it's, mo it's, mostly been either small-scale paintings or digital work because I really don't have the physical ability to go into my studio and make sculptures at the moment unless I was doing very very small-scale things which technically I could do here too I'm, I'm thinking about doing like so some polymer clay things you know do some re to help with some rehab on my hands I think the worst thing about the being sick and in rehab and stuff because I was still really sick when I was in rehab. Physical rehab. Okay, I don't know why I'm in Florida. It was essentially a nursing home. I was the youngest person in this entire building for for their clientele, which is impressive because today is my birthday and I just turned 40. So this tells you something about the kind of facility I was staying at. And I always feel like it sounds like when I say rehab and facility that it's either some like vast governmental conspiracy or I was in there for like an addiction issue which there's nothing wrong with it's like getting help for things is what you need to do it was physical rehab but yeah lots of tiny little old people and lots of you know tiny little old people diseases and things but the the most frustrating Thing about being in there other than not having any bodily autonomy about anything really was that because I was still so sick my brain wasn't being my brain it's when you're as sick as I was it's it's like the worst chronic pain fog 
forever, except it doesn't stop. And like it was literally, bleh, it was literally one of those things where she was the social worker for the for the building, would do like mental tests on me to make sure that I was still mentally acute. Which, according to her tests, I was perfectly fine. Except I am here to tell you that I was not perfectly fine because this is not the person that you got when you talk to me. Like, I, I spoke very slowly. I went, when I spoke, because I didn't speak much, it was very deliberative and ponderous. And I have ADHD. I, I, and I'm a talker. I am a word user. I have never talked slowly in my entire life. Actually, I get yelled at for that. If you have watched these videos, I have a tendency to be on hyperspeed talking 85% of the time. I have to work really hard to not speak quickly. So yeah, it's like, because they had no previous point of reference, they didn't know that who they were getting wasn't who I was. So that was fun. Also, because I didn't mention this, on top of the infection, I had um, an upper GI bleed. So that was fun. They, they, they stuck a scope down me, down my throat to check it out. So, but it's fine now, it's healed. I, I am a very together healed person and recovery and doing therapy and things. I just wanted to like update y'all. I've been home since the beginning of February. Like this first or second week in February. Yeah. Something like that. I don't, I don't honestly at this point I'm not sure how long I've been home. Um, I've been home for a bit. I think I've been home for about two months. Sounds about right. I, I'd have to I'd have to look up the date when I came home because I took a selfie, so it like exists. I have a point of demarcation of return. But since I haven't come home, I have gotten much better. And it's one of those things that my my physical therapist, one of my physical therapists, the person who does the evaluations, because she's different than my usual than my other physical therapist, because I was telling her about some of my small victories, and. Actually, both of them are very adamant about the fact that small victories are what make up your recovery. So that list, that, that list that I generate for myself every day, which I, I'm sure is somewhat annoying for Gnome, because I do this like every day, and hopefully that will eventually stop. That list gets a little bit longer every day, and that's really important and really exciting and every little bit means I'm that much closer to being well so there you go there is your uplifting thing for the day with an update and all the weird faces I've missed making weird faces at the camera other weird update I'm going to be at WizCon in Madison at the end of May it's four day long intersectional feminist geek fest. Rock on. Gnome will not be my, my, my table minion. My friend Lane is going to come minion for me because Gnome has graduation that weekend for their students and, and then has Encore the next week um, out in Portland. So I have a different minion. It's going to be exciting because con cause Lane's never been to Lane's been to very, very few cons. She's tabled for me once before, and I think this will totally be her jam. I think it's going to be amazing for her. It's such, it's such a welcoming place. I'm still waiting to hear about Kitsune Con in July because they just recently closed their applications. I am going to be at Brown County Library Comic Con, which I do not remember the date off the top of my head. And in September, I'm going to be a featured artist at LionCon in the new venue that it's going to be at. So that's wild. Somebody wants me to be their featured artist. Normally, I do a lot more cons of this, but I had to scale back this year because of how sick I was. I actually missed like going to two cons because I was hospitalized and in the rehabilitation facility. 
So we're, I'm being slow. I'm being patient with myself and remembering to be slow and careful and, and thing high top the thing that is hard for me. I am neither patient nor slow. It's so hard. I can't even tell you, but I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing well. Also to remind y'all, I have a Patreon. I am Tentacle Made Studios on it. I am generally speaking Tentacle Made Studios or Tentacle Made almost every place on SockMed except for YouTube because that's just how it is. I'm going to be messing with my, my Patreon tiers so that they are more reflective of things and trying to get better you know doing that because I suck at it and I'm also going to be trying to restart my that thing my shopping my blog and stuff uh, relaunch it all and try and twitch stuff twitch more things and stuff like I said being sick it's made things hard but it's getting better and I don't even know how long I was sick before I actually realized I was sick so if you would like to support me on Patreon, I would appreciate that. I have a Kofi too if you just want to like buy me a coffee or a tea or something. I am so bad at the self-promotion thing. So you know, hopefully I'll get better at it. Hopefully I will become less awkward. All right, and hopefully maybe the, the comic and the podcast will be coming back soon too. Because I miss doing the adventures of Squid and Barnacle, and I miss Gnome and I talking about nerd stuff. Mind you, I haven't been to see most of the nerd things yet. I haven't been to see Captain Marvel yet. I haven't seen Into the Spider-Verse yet, though I own it. It is on my... on one of my movie accounts. <sighs> I'm doing a lot of catch-up. I finally, finally caught up on, like, Star Wars stuff I hadn't seen, and MCU stuff I hadn't seen... So, yeah. Another thing, because of the brain stuff in, when I was in the hospital and in the rehabilitation facility, I didn't have the brain to watch things I hadn't already seen a million times. So, so my friends, do good, be kind, be brave, and courage. Do, 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 do.